Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we are going to look at a super useful feature that we have in AWS. So at any point, if you have ever struggled with connecting to EC2 instances, either by using SSH uh, or dealing with a lot of key pairs, then this feature is a game changer for you. So in this particular session, we are going to talk about your session manager. Now, this is one of the features that I use a lot in my day-to-day -day activities whenever uh, I have to connect to the EC2 instances. And with this, I don't have to worry about the key pairs. I also don't have to worry about the security groups, the inbound rules, opening up the port, num port numbers. I don't have to worry about any of those things. And this is perfect to connect your instances in a very secure way. Now, first things first, let's first talk a, a bit about what is a session manager. So session manager is a fully managed AWS systems manager capability. And with this, you can securely connect to your EC2 instances without needing to open up any inbound ports or manage any SSH keys. Now what that means is we no longer have to worry about the security groups or any key pairs, right? So basically it's, it's another way that you can use. So, you know, most of you might already know that SSH keys is what we use if you're talking about the Linux machines. Uh, SSH keys is what we use to um, log into the machines and you also need to open up uh, port number 22 in the security group. Now all those things can go away uh, if you are making use of your session manager. So this will help you to securely connect your instances uh, without any SSH keys and without opening up any port numbers. Now let's talk about how we can set up the EC2 instances to use this session manager to connect your EC2 instances. So to get started with this, we will need to make sure the EC2 instances are set up to work with your session manager. So there are some, um, some steps that you will need to follow. So here is how you can do it. So step one would be to install the SSM agent. So most of the AMIs that are there in AWS already have the SSM agent on them pre-installed. But if you're using a custom AMI, then you'll have to make sure that uh, uh, you install the SSM agent on them. So let's say, for example, here I'm going to launch an instance. And in our case, we will use, so let's call this as uh, a session manager. So I'm using Amazon Linux 2023. So like I said, most of the AMIs that we have here will have your um, uh, session SSM agent installed on them. And um, um, I'll I know, have the key pair just to log into the instance and show you. And uh, we'll have your security group. So security groups are mandatory. Without a security group, we cannot launch your uh, uh, instances. And let me go ahead and launch this instance. Um, now the, the key pair, the whole purpose of key pair that I have launched is uh, mainly to uh, connect to this instance and show you the SSM agent. So let me quickly log into this here. So here I have the instance and we can run this command system CTL status, Amazon hyphen SSM hyphen agent. And you can see this is active and running, all right? So uh, that's, that's your step one. You'll have to make sure that uh, the SSM agent is installed uh, on the machines that you wanna use your uh, sessions manager on. Step two will be to attach the required IAM role. So for the session manager to work, the EC2 instance will need an IAM role and that role will need to have this permission, Amazon SSM managed instance code policy attached. Now this will allow the instance to communicate with the systems manager service. So for this, what we will do is we will create a new IAM role and we will attach that uh, uh, policy. So let me create a new role and this is going to be for my um, EC2. So EC2 it is. Next, the policy, let's um, uh, search for it. So it would be Amazon, sorry, it's a typo, Amazon SSM, uh, here, this one, Amazon SSM managed instance code. So this is what we will need to attach. So let's say, session manager role i mean you can call it whatever you want and we will create this role 
So you will need to attach this role to the instance that we have created. So this is the instance we're talking about. So we'll go to actions, security, modify, and we will attach the role over here. So this role will give the um, necessary permissions to communicate to the sessions manager service. The last step will be to verify the systems manager setup. For this, we can go to the systems manager uh, console and you can check if your instance appears uh, under this fleet manager. And if it does, then we are good to go. So you can see here, there is my uh, second instance that is showing over here. Now, when you, in, in case you're not able to see this instance, then you may have to restart the SSM agent on the node. But in my case, you can see I'm able to see the instance over here. Now that our instance is ready, let's look at how we can connect to the instance. So there are two ways that you can connect. One is by using the AWS management console and the other is by using the AWS CLI, which is our command line interface. We will look at both the options. Let's first look at uh, option one. So there are two ways that you can do this from the console. One is uh, you can go to the systems manager, you can go to the fleet manager over here, you can select the instance and here on the right hand side, you can see the node actions and click on connect and then start terminal session. Now what this will do is, um, this will uh, connect your instance directly from your browser. Alright, so here you can see I'm connected to the instance. So you can see host name. So this is pointing to 172.31.13.163, which is the uh, second instance that we have over here, the new instance that I have launched. So this is one way where your um, you know session will be open directly in the browser. So with this, if you see, uh, I did not have to specify any key pairs. I don't have to worry about the security groups, nothing. Uh, AWS will securely open the connectivity to the machine I can, and I can start interacting with the instances. So this is one option you have. The other option you have is you can directly go to this session manager over here. So here you can click on start session, select your instance and click on next. Um, if you want to execute any uh, documents, you can do that. I don't have any documents. Next, click on start session and this will also open up your session in the uh, browser. So you can see your host name, it's the same host name. All right. So this is one way from the AWS um, uh, console. Uh, like I said, you don't have to um, specify any key pairs or you don't have to specify any um, uh, security groups, the port numbers or anything. The other way that you can do this is directly from the EC2 console. All right, so you can go to your um, EC2 instances, the running instances, select your instance and here you can see this connect. Click on that connect and this option will be enabled for you. All right, so uh, give it some time, but uh, it shouldn't take so much of time, but here this connect button will be enabled and uh, you can click on that and that will also allow you to connect to your uh, instances. That's totally up to you which method you wanna use. So you can see here connect and this will also open up the, uh, you know, the terminal session directly in your browser. So this is the same. Uh, that we have done from the systems manager. Now it's totally up to you which one you prefer. I prefer the, this particular option going to the instances and directly connecting it from here. But again, like I said, it's totally up to you. How do you want to connect to the um, instances? Now, the second option that you have is using the AWS uh, CLI. Now to begin with this, you'll have to make sure that you have the AWS CLI installed and configured the authentication. So if you're using an EC2 instance, then IAM role should be enough. And if you're using other machine or your local computer, then you will need access key and secret keys to authenticate. I'm gonna use an EC2 instance over here. So this particular instance, so uh, IAM role is enough to provide the necessary permission. So let me first connect to this particular instance over here. So this is the instance I have. Now, before you can connect to the instance uh, from the CLI, you will need to install the um, session manager plugin. So here is the link. I'll share the link to this in the description section, uh, but uh, you will need to install the session manager plugin to get started with this. So I'm using Amazon Linux 2023. So I'll simply run this particular command, which will install the necessary uh, plugin that we can use to connect to that instance. So 
uh, I have already installed but if it's not there then it will go ahead and install it and then you can validate uh, whether the plugin is there or not by running this particular command so you can see here the session manager plugin was successfully installed so this is a prerequisite if you are going to use the AWS uh, CLI once you have this uh, you can start connecting to your instance now the command to connect to the instance would be AWS SSM uh, start session hyphen hyphen target and your instance ID so in my case this will be the instance so I'll take the instance ID I'll give that over here and this will also connect to your instance now in this case it's from the CLS so again you can see the host name it is 172.31.13.163 which is the uh, private IP address all right so this is the second option of how you can connect to that instance so again I don't have to specify any key pairs or any security groups um, so that's really that's where your session manager can be really useful if you want to connect to your instance and that's it we are now connected to your instances using the session manager right so that's your option two to connect your ec2 machine using the session manager again it's totally up to you you want to use the cli or you want to use the console to connect to the instances it's totally um, up to you so session manager helps you to encrypt all your session traffic uh, it logs every command for auditing and does not require for you to open up any ports plus uh, you can even use it to connect to instances in private subnets without a bastion host. That's very cool, right? So go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comment section how it went. That's all I have for this session. You're now ready to use your session manager to connect your EC2 instances securely and efficiently. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content. And hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new content. Uh, if you have any feedback or any queries, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.